Today, I'll show you how to do your ShakePay crypto taxes. Hello, my name is Nelly. Welcome back to another wallet integration video. Today, we're talking about ShakePay and specifically how to do your crypto taxes with the help of Coinly. So I'll tell you a little bit about this wallet, then I'll jump into the integration part of this video. And then lastly, if you know have any questions, comments, concerns, I'd love to help you out. But now before, obviously, you get your necessary tax documentation. So yeah. Um, let's jump into today's video. So ShakePay was founded in 2015 and it's based out of Montreal, Canada. It is probably one of the simplest wallets I've covered to date. They're not offering a lot of different features. Basically what their kind of, you know, big play is, is that you can get crypto really fast um, through their platform. So 10 minutes to own your first Bitcoin is what's stated on their website. Seven plus billion in digital currency bought and sold and that they've serviced over 1 million Canadians. So um, a very basic exchange for, you know, users that are looking for simple features, but probably one that most advanced traders are going to stay away from. So first step to getting your information into Coinly is logging into your Coinly account. If you don't have one, you can create one completely free and follow along until it's time to get a necessary plan. So anyways, click on the wallet section and then click on add wallet. Then we're gonna type in ShakePay and the first thing that pops up, we're gonna click on that. Um, as you can see, there's no way to import uh, via API. So we're gonna have to do CSV file. So click on import from file and I'll show you where to get the necessary information. So on their website, when you go into the wallets area next to the transaction history title, there will be an option to download a CSV file. So make sure that file has your entire transaction history and then simply take that file and drag and drop it into Coinly. And if you're using the mobile app, you would go into your settings area and then you would click on request transaction um, summary and that's another way you can get your CSV file. So once your data is imported into Coinly, go into the transactions area and here you can see underneath the hood of what's going on, making sure all your transactions are sitting correctly with you. You know, also your staking is tagged correctly, sent to pool, sent from pool. Um, once you're happy with that, click on tax reports and here you get one final summary of all your crypto activity throughout the year. So your capital gains, your income, your cost and expenses, and anything else that you want to see. Um, scroll on down and select a tax report appropriate for your needs. And as you can see on the screen before you, we have plenty of different tax documentation starting off um, with the US where we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also export to TurboTax both online and desktop versions. We have reports for UK, Sweden, Norway, France, Switzerland, Australia, and then lastly, Canada, Germany, other countries, which probably you're going to be most interested in is the complete tax report, which keep in mind is a document you can print off and give directly to an accountant and they will combine that with your other tax documentation. Or alternatively, you can invite them to Coinly to set up their accounts the firm here with us. And then lastly, check your country's rules and regulations because this tax report might be deductible. But that'll do it for today's video. If you need further assistance, a bunch of different resources down below, starting off with the Coinly Help Center with countless different crypto tax related articles. Uh, we have a feedback section if you're having any issues with our software. We have a forum section if you'd like to talk to members of our community as well as our staff. And then lastly, we have a contact section where you can send us a message directly and we'd love to help you out. But I do hope you found this video helpful. If you did, consider dropping a like, subscribing for more crypto content, and I'll see you next time. Peace.